everyone, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to be drawing in my copy of Night Sky with Exit Wounds by Ocean Wong. Uh, he's one of my current favorite poets right now. And if you haven't read any of his work, I totally recommend it. Uh, this copy was gifted to me by my roommate, and today I'll just be using one of my gel pens that I had from high school to be drawing because I do not own art supplies. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's get started. This is kind of an already half started project, um, basically where there's a division in every single part of the book. I've decided to put an illustration for now, um, and then I think I'm just going to fill it up as I see fit. So yeah, today we're going to be doing part two. Okay, cool. Let's start. So you've probably heard of Ocean Vuong before, and I think I've read Night Sky with Exit Wounds twice already, and I think already it's become one of my favorite poetry collections ever, and Ocean Vuong has also become one of my favorite poets. I think he just does a really good job of making emotion really accessible um, and kind of using image that is really kind of tender and, and intimate. Um, and I think if you've read his work before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and at the same time, I think sort of the kind of tone that I get when I was reading this, it was sort of like being alone, but not being alone at the same time, which is uh, why I've chosen to, at least for part two, to draw like a city. I'm sorry about the shaking here because I think I bumped into my tripod. Yeah, anyway, I'm using photo references for all of these drawings, and they're all going to be um, based off photos by Fred Herzog, who is a Vancouver photographer. Um, he has really, really good work as well, so if you're interested in checking him out, I've included his exhibition below. Um, and yeah, I think next I'll just talk a little bit about drawing itself. So recently, um, in the last, I think, two years or so, I've been trying to... Um, be a little bit less scared of just like going to the page with pen. I think if you followed me since I started my Tumblr, like all those years ago, um, I would first like lay out everything in pencil and then go over it with pen, which one is kind of time consuming and two, um, I'm trying to embrace more of an imperfection when it comes to like just documenting my life and also in art itself, I think as well, just being afraid to use pen, which is such a an everyday medium, is something that I kind of wanted to get over. So that's why I went 
and did the most drastic thing I could think of, which was draw in a very precious book with pen. So that's what I'm doing. So for this series of drawings, I think I'm mostly trying to be a little bit looser with uh, my mark making, as well as just like lines in general. I think what I've noticed before when I look at art that I've done in the past with, with only pen or with only ink, um, I'm kind of like afraid to lay down really decisive lines, uh, which I think is like really noticeable when you look at my old art, because it's like a little bit sketchy um, in the literal sense. And I was just looking at, I think, Paul Wang's art on Instagram. I think he's a Singaporean artist. And basically he was talking about, he posted some old art and he was just kind of like making observations on it. And what he was talking about was kind of how he used to be very dedicated to getting a lot of information down on the page. And then when he talks about his art now, it's more of like capturing a feeling or a vibe or a mood. And I think that was like one that's really, really interesting um, because one, I think it's interesting hearing artists talk about their craft whenever, uh, regardless of what it is. But I think it's really interesting because in the past, I think I could definitely say that I was um, approaching like landscape scenery art in a very taking information down kind of way. Um, but I think it'd be interesting to like try and get the feeling of it because that's kind of what art is, right? Anyway, I think for, at least when I was doing this one, um, I, I keep bumping the tripod. Anyway, when I was doing this one, um, I think I did keep that in mind a little bit, but I was still pretty, um, like I still have it as a habit to make things as accurate as I can. I think I kind of took a little bit of liberty with like how the cars looked at the very beginning and then I got kind of scared so I tried to make things like more accurate again but obviously it isn't that accurate like I have the perspectives wrong and the, the proportions and everything wrong um, but I think I was definitely trying to be just like a lot looser with my hand and the lines in general and I think that like, came out across a little bit nicer in this one than it did the, the first one that you saw with the cars in the garage um, yeah but anyway it was a really fun one to do and I think it only took like 10 or so minutes because this is the anyway this is the only footage I have of drawing it um, so it was like kind of a nice exercise to do and then I also feel like doing this in the context of a specific project like having a series of drawings to do is also really good for kind of making sure I always continue to draw and make it more of a regular habit because I definitely have trouble with doing that I think here's where I kind of noticed that the entire thing was like a little bit lacking in different values. Um, so I literally went and colored all the telephone poles in black. And then I think I went and I colored the, like the guy's suit black as well, just to give it a bit more um, contrasting values. And I think after that, that was pretty much it. Um, for some reason, I really, really liked drawing like streets or cityscapes or like things with cars in them. Um, or like places that are like definitely inhabited by people. I think it's it's like very interesting to look at like the personality of a place that way. Um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I'm probably just gonna turn the music back on and you guys can listen to that instead of hearing me talk. Um, I'm basically still kind of trying to figure out what I wanna post on my channel and Basically, the only way I'm going to do that is just to keep posting random stuff until something kind of clicks or feels good. So, yeah, this is basically the start of a lot of experimentation. So I hope you are ready for that. Anyway, thank you so much.